Respecting the game means a lot, bro. On and off the court. How you carry yourself, all that shit matter, man. Y'all gotta understand, when you go to college, you don't get away with this shit, man. You get to the league, you don't get away from They take your bread, bro. You walk around this motherfucker, moping and pounding around, bro, it's either one or two things gonna happen where you at. They gonna ship your ass off, or they gonna wave your motherfucking ass, or you ain't gonna have no job. They just gonna say, here, just take the money, we don't even want you. That's the two options you got in the league. And I don't never like pulling my NBA card, ever. But bro, y'all, it's only 400. That mean if you got dreams of getting to the league, you gotta play me. You gotta guard me. And guess what? Can't none of y'all motherfuckers guard me. Ain't none of y'all taking my job. I'm, I'm chilling. I can retire today and live on the beach for the rest of my life. And my mom and dad not work another day. Or my brothers. That's the type of good y'all want to be. That's what y'all want. Everything is grimy and gutter where we from, bro. So everything is going to be that much harder for us. But guess what? When you got a gift and a talent like that, you got to take advantage of it. You got to perfect it. You got to work on your shit. Because guess what? God will take that. If you ain't using it the right way, if you ain't using your bounce, you ain't using your shot, you ain't perfecting it, them gifts are gone. I believe in y'all, man. Let's go. I believe in y'all. Let's get it, baby. Hey, hey, all I ask y'all do is finish strong, man. That's finish it, up. man. Finish. That's all we can. Finish on three. One, two, three. Finish. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. Y'all already know where I come from. You know, I'm from the Midwest. Brad Bill's from St. Louis. Y'all already know I used to coach basketball. You know, I've met Brad Bill. I've met his mama. I met his daddy. Kevin Sutton introduced me. And when I tell you his mama's a real one, best of Bill is a real one. Y'all already know how I feel about this. So I ain't even going to let y'all wait no longer. We getting right to this shit. Turn this shit up, nigga. Let's go. My ducks, my swans, welcome to the pod. My name is Dorian from Group82Music.com, and right here, we got Brad Beal speaking that motherfucking real. Listen, Brad Beal's a good dude. Brad Beal is from St. Louis, Missouri. Brad Beal went to Chaminade High School. Brad Beal was the number two two guard in the class of 2011 behind Austin Rivers. Brad Beal went to the University of Florida. He was one and done. He was the number three pick in the 2012 draft to the Washington Wizards. And now Brad Beal is one of the best scorers in the NBA, if not the best scorer, one of the best scorers in the world. And that man's worth $127 million. Brad Beal's real. Brad Beal has an AAU team, Brad Beal Elite. They've had 14 McDonald's All-Americans. They've sent seven dudes to the NBA. Those dudes he was talking to right there, they want what Brad Beal has. Everything I just named, all them accolades, that's what they want. But what them young dudes don't understand is that this shit is real. There's only 400 spots in the NBA. So that means for you to get in, somebody else got to get kicked out. These are grown-ass men who make a shit ton of money, who don't want to live overseas. They not giving a spot up easily. So that means you got to go up against them. And if you a 6'4", 2 guard, guess what? You got to guard Brad Beal. And like you heard him say, can't none of you motherfuckers guard me. He ain't lying about that shit. It's real out here in everything you want to do. So if you want to mope around and have a shitty attitude, you want to show up late, you want to bitch and be late to academic advising, you want to half-ass not run the lines like I tell you to, you want to not show up and get up extra shots and shit, there's another motherfucker that wants your spot. And that just ain't in basketball. This is a microcosm for life. If you want to win, you got to fucking want that shit. Because there's somebody else that wants your spot. There's somebody that's watching this shit every day. You don't comment. You don't DM. You don't hit like. You don't hit share. You just watch me every goddamn day. Why? Because you want my fucking spot. And I ain't mad at you. Come get it, bitch. Because this shit's tough. If you able to manage all this shit that I manage, your ass deserves to be up here. Because I was you. I wanted Curtis King's spot. I didn't come at him in an aggressive way but I wanted his spot. And when I felt like I was close enough, I reached out to him and he was gracious enough to hop on the podcast. And now me and him have a good relationship. You gotta find people whose spots you want, but they not your motherfucking enemies. Like Brad Bill said at the end, Brad Bill wants all them kids to win, but you're not gonna get in my way when you do it. I'm gonna show you how to get there. 
I'm gonna put you on game. I'm gonna give you the resources. Yeah, Nike's taking care of his AAU team, but Brad gotta put up some of his brand too. He's making sure them kids got first class everything. But for that, I need you to bust your ass. And that's how I am with this shit. And that's how I am in my class. I don't cuss in my class because I want the content to be able to go everywhere. But y'all motherfuckers know how I get down. If you want this music business shit, you want this million streams, you want to chart on iTunes, you want to go number one, you want 70,000 followers, you want to get verified, you want hundreds of thousands of dollars, motherfucker, you got to work for it. And I'm going to show you every single way to do it because I know how hard it is. And a lot of y'all ain't built for this shit. A lot of y'all don't really want this shit. A lot of y'all don't understand what you got to do to make this shit a reality. You ain't got the work ethic. You're not made for it. So I'll tell you everything. I'll tell you stuff for free. I'll tell you stuff and pay inside of my class. Because I know y'all not going to put in the work. But for those of y'all that do, that watch me every day and want my spot, I see you. I see what you're doing. And if you really going to build your own castle, king, you really going to build your own castle, queen, it's going to get above everybody else. Because I'm already above a lot of people. So I'm looking at other kings and queens and their castles, and I'm trying to learn about their infrastructure. How can I get my castle as big as theirs? Those y'all that are looking at my castle, trying to make it as big as yours, keep growing, keep getting higher. If I see you, I'm gonna help you. That's what this shit's about. Like Brad Bill's doing for them. That's what it's about. For those that work hard and want it, I have no problem helping, which is why I give the content every day. But for those y'all that want this shit and you a hating ass bitch, get the fuck up out of my shit right now. Fuck you, nigga. You on Instagram? Click the link up top. You on YouTube, click the link in the box, not the pond. Gotta stay true. I flex hard, I stunt large, I pull cards, you ain't hard. I spit back, show squad whack, y'all heard that, run this back. Group82music.com.